typically the software has been focused either on the design community or on the construction community. And uh, as a design builder, we operate in both spaces. And so finally, there is a great pathway in Autodesk who's leading the charge to bring all that together for the AEC community, but also for the owners as well. As a design builder, it's important that first our designs are innovative, uh, but second that they're also buildable, constructible, and maintainable. So uh, it's really important for us that we get construction knowledge integrated with our design knowledge early on in the project in order to infuse constructability into the design process. We work very closely together. Um, me as a design engineer, I work on a daily basis with um, Andy and his team. When Andy's group draws their engineering model in Revit, we're able to use that Autodesk fabrication software to convert that model into a fabricatable model. Looking at a 2D drawing, you can't see, you know, spatially the structure and walls around you. Now looking at it in Autodesk Revit from an ISO three-dimensional view, you could, you could see all those conflicts. When I'm working on something, I can see it in 3D and I can give Andy a call. And even though we're working in different locations, he can pull up the same drawing and he can look at the same thing that I'm seeing. And that's really open lines of communication that weren't there before. By us getting the input from the detailing team um, to the engineers, it's really streamlining that process so there's not as much rework. The way that we design um, and, and coordinate and install the work really provides us the ability for our foreman to see the same information time and time again, regardless of what office it's being engineered out of. It also allows our fabrication facilities to see the same you know, spool products time and time again, so that we can do um, a lot of shared office work, shared divisional work, but also chase projects on a national level. Autodesk fabrication software bridges the gap between Autodesk Revit and construction. It gives us the ability to take our design build concept and really enter into that single model software uh, delivery method that we want to be in and want, have wanted to be in for years. Now we start adding uh, more detailed coordination. We're, we're coordinating with other trades. We're adding uh, fabrication content into the model. That model gets divided into much smaller sections, which we call spool drawings. And those spools are small work products that can be fabricated in one assembly and then shipped to the job site um, as a whole. The model is used in the field. They, they have electronic devices, they can look at the model. Um, and so they can relate the, the spool pieces to where they go on the job site, how it's delivered on the job site, um, and install those. The manpower out here have uh, responded very, very positively to uh, having the entire project modeled using Autodesk software. We're able to have all the, the uh, material prefabricated and ready to go from them. They have to spend less time arguing with other trades over who gets to go where and uh, what goes first. So they're much happier, it's much safer because you don't have 12 guys stacked on top of each other. We're able to model all of the, uh, the hanger points for our system, which go up to the uh, structural decks. So we know there's no clashes there, but those structural points are identified in a, in a model that we send to our layout crews who have um, a GPS system. Everything is accurate within an eighth of an inch. It's, it's spectacular. And when we go down underneath to install the work, they know that their hanger points are going to be there and that it's been coordinated with the other trades and that they'll actually work. And we're seeing up to 99 hundred percent for me so far on this job with the usable hangers. The things that owners want to avoid in their uh, projects are delays and change orders for lack of coordination and on this project every time we walk them through the model they just come out raving and they're extremely satisfied. We bring issues that we see in the model to them and come up with a resolution that everybody can be happy with before anything gets installed so there are no surprises. A BIM model, it's a communication tool. It's a communication tool from an engineer, designer to an owner in terms of saying what the scope is. It's a communication tool to the guys installing the work. It's a communication tool to you know the maintenance, the operators in terms of where that equipment is, what it needs to do. Uh, that full life cycle from you know initial concept of the building all the way through design, through construction, then through operation, through renovation, and eventually potentially decommissioning, um, there are certainly Autodesk products that are covering that entire life cycle, uh, which is significant for, for the industry and for Southland.